Hello fantastic creatures, I'm Fantasims and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'll show you how I made these three different styles of windmills and I will be making these available as a room for you guys to download and use in your own builds. Now as you can see here this is a shell that I created and I already tried attempting making the windmill that you saw for a split second and it turned out a bit cartoony looking. It was, I mean it still looks kind of cool, it's a bit rustic but it just was a bit too huge for my taste so I wanted to come up with some different styles of windmills and so I got gathered a bunch of objects that I knew could be rotated with Toolmod. Again, for those of you who are not familiar with my channel, Toolmod is a mod that lets you rotate objects in different ways than the game normally allows, but anything that you make with it can be downloaded by anyone. It's not custom content and it will show up just the way that it's built in your own game. So I gathered together a bunch of objects I already knew could be rotated and I was trying to find things that are like fabric-y to make those windmills that have that sail look to them and these, not most curtains cannot be rotated but there are a handful of curtains that could and these seemed like the most windmill looking, they're from Snowy Escape and the cool thing is is that they come in a ton of different swatches so you can change up the colours if you like and then I used these poles from um, the Toddler Stuff Pack I can't remember what it's called. Uh, maybe it's just called the toddler stuff back. I don't know. Anyway, uh, it's the post that goes with the fairy lights, the hanging fairy lights. And I made it double sided. I, I guess I could have just made it single sided, but um, it had like the back of the curtains poking through. So I tried to cover it up with these little posts just to add a little bit more detail to the top and the bottom. And it has a very Asian style to it. So I ended up not using this one for the build that you'll see at the very end of this video. Um, but it is an option to be used in some other builds. So I'll make it available. And I basically just wanted to shape the top and the bottom with the post at slight angles just to make it look like they're all being held together and then I rotated around the center with the tool mod to give it a slight tilt to it and then doing so for some reason shifted the curtains normally when you rotate things as a group it won't shift anything around but for some reason it shifted it so I had to fix that and then I was trying to find objects that you can put at the center uh, for the windmill to rotate around and I just I couldn't figure out what objects to use. I ended up using these tree stumps from Outdoor Retreat. I don't know that I love them or that they really suit this style but I couldn't find like a good thick round circular post or something that could be used. Now of course in this little speed build it makes everything seem like it comes together really quickly um, but actually it's like the end that's the hardest. It takes forever to toggle select everything which is what highlights it as green and then rotate around center. Sometimes it just doesn't work the right way or I clicked on the wrong object first or, or all those kinds of things. So it looks like it came together really simply but it can be a bit tricky. <laughs> but anyway if you rotate around the center um, It'll, it'll move the entire group of objects as if it's one object. It's so cool. So we couldn't do stuff like this before with old school tool mods. So I, I really love that new feature, which is how these windmills were made possible. Then I made this really quick one. This one actually was really simple to use. Now I'm using the train tracks from Snowy Escape. There are some exact same debug um, train tracks in Eco Lifestyle but those ones cannot be rotated but the ones from Snowy Escape can and then I used fencing from I think Strangerville and the main posts are from Eco Lifestyle that can be rotated and as you can see that came together really quickly because there's really not that many objects and I like it because it has more of that rustic style and then I just mirror imaged it and put the same object objects on the very bottom just so that from behind you still get the same kind of dimension and, and depth that you get from the front. And I just turned one of those base game planter boxes upside down. I really love these wood posts from Eco Lifestyle because the detail on them and the texture is a lot nicer than a lot of other debug wooden posts and they can be rotated which is so huge. Now here I'm just trying to tie it into the base and at the tips of these railroad tracks the um, metal part that folds over is hollow at the end so I was trying to find a way to kind of hide that hollowness and it's not super perfect I tried later on to find some objects I could hide it with and then I thought you know what who cares once it's rotated up on its side nobody's gonna be looking and be like oh my goodness I can see a millimeter into the metal the the curved metal part how dare she you know like who cares so I just decided to call it quits and be done with it now this is the one I actually ended up using and it was a lot trickier to 
build, so more of the footage is going to be spent on this one. And it mainly uses outdoor retreat. These are some lampposts from Outdoor Retreat and I just rotated them on the side and I did angle them slightly. It kind of has a um, rowboat rudder, whatever, what, I can't think of words, paddle. <laughs> it kind of has like a paddle shape to it and that's because the part that has the beige flat piece that you can see, it was it's a sign from Outdoor Retreat and I just love how the metal has those silver metallic um, studs, nuts and bolts in the back of it. So I really wanted to use that and so I made that as the scent, like the base of the windmill. And then I rotated the lamps to kind of curve, to follow that curve and then go back to being straight. And here I was just playing around with the Journey to Batu fabric because I wanted to see if a fabric look would look cool because I was trying to make it look a bit rustic, but I just didn't like the way that it looked. So I scrapped that idea and instead I took these signs from Snowy Escape because it has a nice wood texture on the back. And if you know me, you know I love to look at the back of objects because sometimes you get some really nice surprises. Now, even though I really love the wood grain of that other sign, it just, the color scheme just didn't work. Whereas this one that I'm doing right here comes with a lot more color options. So you can always change later on, you can change the frame tech, uh, not texture, uh, swatches with the swatches of this sign. And they go together a lot better than the other one I used at the very beginning. But I did have to use quite a few of them and try and size them in a way that they would follow the curve. It's not perfect, there's some slight little gaps along the side, but you can't really see them. So it's not that big a deal. <laughs> and then I had to come up with a way to hide that beige part of the sign that's poking through. So later on I did the same thing where I used these lamps and I just tilted some of them slightly. And this is what I'm doing here too, to tie in some more of that shape. I wanted it to look like it's been put together and still look a bit rustic, like scraps were used, but also a bit more chic, like it has, it has a bit more finesse to it than the original windmill that I had created for this lot. And so here I'm just adding like some, some flare out detail to the sides to try and hide that beige part and then I wedged in some more of those signs to hide the rest of it and this one took a lot of tweaking I did keep changing my mind I didn't show all the footage of that because that would be super boring so I only showed the footage where I figured out what I wanted to do um, and then I realized that the sides just didn't look really nice and smooth so I copied and lowered the same posts to make sure that they kind of hid the sides and then this part I wanted to hide the center of it where there's some gaps just give it a bit more finesse make it look like it's more put together um, but the only thing about that is that then you end up with the light fixture of those posts poking through and making it really thick so I ended up double siding this windmill so it is a bit thicker than the other ones but I still like the way that it looked and the very top part flares out a bit which I think is a nice fun added detail um, and so and the thing I love too about making these windmills is you only have to make one of them and then you just copy the room and keep rotating it around until you've got four of them. So it works out really good. So you don't actually have to make four separate fan blades, which any time that you can make a lot less <laughs> is always best. Um, and then I did the same thing where I turned the planter pot upside down and the post in the middle is Debug from Island Living. There's also the same kind of post from Cats and Dogs, but it's it's got that mossy green look all the way through whereas this one from Island Living has more of that whitewashed wood to it and when I tried copy and pasting the room I noticed that as you see as you just saw um, some of them went funky so I'm struggling a bit here <laughs> with trying to copy and paste them and then I realized I can just rotate it delete that funky one and then do it again and it worked out perfectly as you can see here I elevated it and then I double side I made it double sided um, because the backs of those well actually the fronts of those signs have this metal plaque on it and so from the back it was like really glaringly bright and it didn't tie into the style at all so I wanted to hide that but then it took a lot more tweaking and so then I had to thicken up the sides to try and hide where I had put these added signs 
man i'm just i'm just mumbling and jumbling all over my words as per usual you guys are used to it i never know what i'm talking about like i know what i want to say in my head but it never quite comes out right so hopefully by viewing this and somewhere in my jumbled explanation you can figure out what the heck i'm doing um and then what i did was i ended up rotating it on its side and then double siding it which you will see now that we will go into the final pieces okay here we are these are the three different windmills that i created i just showed you in a couple different color swatches for these ones this one of course only has this color because it's debug objects that don't come with a swatch and i don't have them available as rooms yet because i'm going to make an angled version and a straight version for each of them and as you see here i slightly tilted this on the side so it's not a straight x just to give it a bit more variety so i'll rotate some of them at slightly different angles but that's just going to take a bit of time because i have to individually select all the pieces i can't use the toggle group feature because um, i think i've mentioned this in a previous video but when you rotate around the center you have to pick your object first so for example you have to click on like the center beams so if i select this beam here when i then go to rotate around the center it'll make sure that this part is the center but when you use a grouping box like so for example let me unselect this one and then if you shift click on the ground this one's at a slight angle but because this lot is at an angle but let's say i do this and let's say i was only selecting this one and you do toggle the group now it's including this one next to it but let's say there was nothing else on this lot except this one then when i go to rotate around the center uh, i don't know when you use the toggle select when you use this toggle group feature i don't know which object it picks first but it's usually not the pole that you need to rotate around the, this very center i don't know whether it chooses one of these random objects first but the, then it makes the center off so for example if i unselect some of these objects just so it doesn't rotate around these ones actually you know what just to make it faster i'm just going to delete them because i don't have the patience <laughs> so i'm just going to delete these pieces and then they won't be included in the group okay let's go back into the tool mod okay then when i go to rotate around center as you can see if we go to the side see how the see how this object is no longer very in the very center it's chosen one of the other objects as the first one and i'm sorry if that sounds super confusing but basically when you're using rotate around the center whichever object you choose first that's the one that's going to determine how the entire group is going to be rotated which is why you always want to pick an object where the center is right at the center of the object let's cancel this and instead like if i click on that one first and then i add the other four i'm experiencing some lag so i apologize okay let's say i've selected all the other objects to because I picked one of these posts first then when I rotate around the center it's going to be in the middle okay I've put it in some daylight so it's a slightly easier to see the colors you can change the colors of these because they come in multiple swatches so this is really versatile because look you can make a blue one black green red whatever color that you want and even if you're doing like an Asian style one that one looks really cool because it's a slightly off-white so it has that kind of medieval Asian fantasy kind of look to it and then I did the same thing for these ones here you can have a darker color or these kind in different color swatches so you can change the color if you want bigger contrast and then there's not as much variety on this framework so let's say I wanted to do like gray or something or this dark brown wood um the the most difficult part for this is that these signs only come with like three color swatches yeah so you can only have dark brown gray or this kind of medium brown but at least that provides some options for you and the whole reason I made these windmills as you can see in the distance let's go into tab mode so I can show you see in the distance I'm working on a project let's jump over there and I'll show you real quick okay so usually when a new pack comes out I do a build by review and I lay out every single object including the debug and it gives us a really good idea of where things are pros and cons like do the color swatches match up are we missing objects like I did that for dream home decorator and we discovered that there were some color themes throughout certain objects they just didn't continue in other objects and then you can also see the strength of the amount of variety that we're given uh, the reason i haven't done that for this cottage living pack that we just got is because the game changers have been posting videos for like two weeks now and there's a ton of videos already with all these objects uh, most of these are debug right here of all the different variety that you can have and so i wasn't sure if i should even make that video that i normally do but if enough of you want me to i still can so instead what i was thinking of is doing this crazy challenge where i have to use every single object from the pack and every single debug object and I had to shrink a ton of them down because they wouldn't fit on the lot so I just thought it would be a fun challenge to try and incorporate every single object but anyway I created the shell in order to do this challenge and I thought it would look cool as a windmill which is why I made the windmills so anyway this should be an upcoming video that is going to be coming out um, soon I thought that I'd be able to build a lot faster but as per usual it's taking me forever <laughs> so anyway this one is probably coming out next who knows though so stay tuned for that and until the next one I freaking love you guys